We meet Sam, a terminal cancer patient living in a hospice in New York City with her service cat, Frodo. And honestly, she doesn't really like living there. This place is shit. This place smells like shit. One day, Reuben, a caregiver, convinces a reluctant Sam to join a group outing to see a puppet show in Manhattan. Sam puts on her fentanyl patch and goes to the theater with her kitten. The group arrives at the theater to watch the puppet show. Sam feels a bit uncomfortable during the show and decides to go out to buy chocolate. She runs into Reuben, who tells her that they have to go back because something is happening in the city. The group gets on the bus, and then they realize that meteors are falling on the city. Sam gets off the bus without being able to see anything because of all the dust, and she has no idea what is happening. A soldier asks her to seek shelter, but she gets taken away. An alien appears. Someone screams to run, and they get killed. Then an alien makes an ambulance explode. And so it begins. Welcome to Random Recaps. In this video, I am going to recap the movie. Sam wakes up in the theater, coughing, but a survivor named Henri covers her mouth. Many people are sheltering in the theater in silence. Apparently, they quickly realize that if they talk, they die. Sam reunites with Reuben, and her kitten is also safe. Helicopters fly over the area, telling people to take shelter and stay quiet. Because of the noise made by the aliens, the kitten gets scared and runs away. Sam goes to find it, but there is an alien at the door. The kitten makes noise, but Sam manages to grab it before the alien appears. Both Sam and Reuben remain silent, waiting for the alien to leave. Luckily, the helicopter flies over the theater again, attracting a herd of aliens. Sam wipes her face and then finds a woman listening to the radio instructions saying to stay safe, wait for orders, and not use the bridges. Then they hear bombs. Sam, along with other people, goes outside to see the military bombing the bridges leading to Manhattan to prevent the creatures from leaving the island. So those who stayed there are screwed. We're screwed. Okay, we're screwed. A guy starts to panic, and Henri covers his mouth so he doesn't make any noise. But he goes a little too far and ends up killing him. Sam tells Reuben that she's going to Harlem for pizza. What? Then the power goes out, causing the theater's backup generator to activate noisily. Reuben rushes to turn it off quickly, but then an alien comes, and F in the chat. Sam doesn't care anymore, so she grabs her kitten and heads to Harlem for her pizza. But first, she grabs something to eat and opens the can with as little noise as possible. At the fountain, she meets some children. She gives them chocolate to eat. Then they hear helicopters. Sam hears there are evacuations at the South Street Seaport. So she asks the kids to go with her. The military suggests that survivors take refuge in the water since the aliens can't swim. Sam and the kids hide while a herd of aliens passes in front of them. After they pass, Sam and the kids come out and meet more people heading to South Street. Sam tells the kids to go with them. Meanwhile, Sam, with her enormous ovaries, goes in the opposite direction to get her pizza. More and more people gather and then the aliens arrive to attack. Run, bitch! Run! Sam falls and the kitten runs away. Sam hides under a car, waiting for everything to pass. But someone grabs her, asking for help. An alien grabs him, causing the car to fall on Sam, but she manages to get out. She runs away while seeing how the aliens attack the people who scream, knowing they shouldn't. Meanwhile, the kitten is chilling on the streets, catching a mouse and drinking some water. From that water emerges a guy named Eric. Eric encounters Frodo, and Eric chases Frodo, who is returning to Sam. Sam continues walking, and Eric follows her even though Sam tells him to go away. He keeps following her. A storm begins, causing enough noise for them to talk. Sam and Eric introduce themselves. Sam tells Eric to go to the pier since people are being evacuated there. She also asks him to stop following her. But Eric is so scared that he doesn't know what the hell to do. So he follows her again. Stop it. Get some help. Night falls and Sam, Eric, and the kitten go to Sam's apartment. Upon entering, Sam looks for her painkillers. Eric is an Englishman who came to the United States to study law. 
poor Eric didn't know what awaited him. Sam still intends to go for pizza, and Eric wants to go with her. Let's get pizza. Eric finds out that Sam is an acclaimed and published poet. The two start yelling to vent their frustration. The next day, Sam leaves Eric alone and goes with her cat to get the pizza. But Eric follows her because, obviously, you're not going for pizza alone, Sam. Sam gets up and makes noise, so they start running before the aliens arrive. The two get into a building, but the door is jammed by a briefcase. Eric manages to open the door, but that makes more noise, attracting not just one alien but a whole herd. Eric sets off car alarms to distract them, and they enter the subway station. Down there, they walk silently, but then an alien arrives. Slowly, they keep walking until they reach the subway tracks, which are all flooded. But the protagonists aren't afraid of success, so they decide to go that way. There they encounter an alien. Eric is very scared, but Sam tries to calm him down. The alien heads towards them quickly, so Sam and Eric swim as fast as they can. Underwater, the alien tries to grab them but drowns. Very powerful and all that, but swimming isn't their thing on their planet. Upon coming out, they reach a church. Eric helps Sam and asks her which medications she needs. So Eric goes to a pharmacy to get them. While getting the medications, the kitten appears. It just wanted to keep him company. But upon leaving, the cat leaves again. Bruh. Everything is burning in flames, and the cat is licking alien eggs. Mm. Then an alien arrives. Eric tries to grab the cat and leave. So he goes up to find it. Because that's what heroes do. Then a bunch of aliens arrives to feed on the organic eggs from the asteroids. An alien gets very close to Eric, but luckily it doesn't detect him. I'm so fucking scared right now! Eric grabs the kitten and returns to the church placing the fentanyl patch on Sam to make her feel better. Sam tells him that when she was a child, she used to watch her late father play jazz at a club and then go eat pizza with him at Patsy's. Her father also died of cancer. The next day, Eric takes her to Patsy's and then to the club where her father played the piano. Finally, Eric brings the pizza. Even the kitten gets its slice. Eric also starts doing card magic tricks to cheer her up. Eric and Sam see boats on the river, full of survivors escaping Manhattan. Sam gives her jacket to Eric, and the two head together toward the boats, slowly making as little noise as possible until they see aliens walking along the shore. Sam gives the kitten to Eric and, with her enormous ovaries, runs to distract the aliens so Eric can save himself. Seeing this, Henri asks to stop the boat. Eric flees with the cat towards the pier while several aliens chase him. They almost manage to catch him, but he gets away. Except for Sam, who stayed behind heroically alone. Because that's what heroes do. The people on the boat help Eric and the kitten. Meanwhile, Sam looks at a picture of her and her father, remembering the good times. Eric finds a note in Sam's jacket, asking him to take care of the kitten and thanking him for helping her live again. Sam walks down the street listening to music, plays the music loudly, waiting for her imminent death, and that's how the movie ends. <laughs>